Hey there, I'm Roxanne Vargas. It's Tuesday, February 11th, and here are the six things to know. Police are searching for the driver of a dark-colored Mercedes-Benz. They say it was involved in a hit-and-run Sunday. It left Derek Betancourt dead. There you see the car. It's missing the left front outer grille and the front Mercedes emblem as well. It may also have damage to the windshield. If you have any information, you can call Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. And remember, you can remain anonymous. We have your details on a ransomware attack on the North Miami Beach Police Department. They say that they had to shut down the computer system last week. Sources tell NBC6 that hackers are demanding $5 million to allow the department to regain access to all the data. The FBI has been asked to investigate. In the meantime, the police department has been forced to write reports by hand. All eyes are on New Hampshire today as the first in the nation primary election takes place. Democratic presidential candidates, they made their last minute appeals for support yesterday, crossing the state for numerous campaign events. New polls show Senators Bernie Sanders and former South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg neck and neck. Joe Biden, Amy Klobuchar and Elizabeth Warren not far behind. President Trump met with some parents of the Parkland family members at the White House yesterday from the shooting, of course, a tragic shooting here. The meeting comes as we get ready to mark two years since it happened at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Parents were briefed on a new school safety website unveiled by the Trump administration. A man is caught on cam camera swiping a baked treat from a local shop waking up in jail today. You see it right there on the store's camera. Police say 61-year-old Fernando Garcia walks in, takes his pick, then walks right out. It happened at Brazo Fuerte on Southwest 32nd Avenue Friday. Police say they arrested him about seven hours later. The arresting officer also said he found Garcia with a crack pipe and crack pipe and drugs in the passenger seat. Okay, so I hope you like the breeze. It's with us for much of the week. Along with the breeze, it is warm and muggy as well. And a few showers, 20 to 30 percent chance of these showers first half of the day. Then really quite isolated second half of the day. 83 degrees this afternoon. Average high 78. Feels like temperatures, guys, with this humidity. Probably more like the upper 80s. And I mentioned it stays like this all week. It certainly does. A few of these spotty showers continue as well. Mid 80s by Thursday into Friday. Here's the next front. It's going to be a weak one. Drops our temperatures into the upper 70s briefly on Saturday. And then it looks like we're back to the low 80s Sunday into Monday. And Roxy, that wind might still be with us. Adam, thanks. I'm Roxy. Those are your six things to know on this Tuesday. Get the latest on the stories updates throughout the day on the NBC6 app, our website, and check us out on Apple, Roku, and on YouTube as well.